So in this video where I'm going to use DaVinci Resolve, I will show you how you edit a video very fast once you get used to the flow of just using actually three different buttons. You can go and edit and clip out or cut out the stuff that you don't want in your video. So the first thing we have to do is to go to this DaVinci Resolve and then keyboard customization. Then you want to go and search for ripple delete. So everywhere it says ripple delete, you want to change it to the keystroke of four. So it's this button up here. And of course, this is just how I like it. You can put it wherever you want. But the key here is that we're going to use the number one and number four, and then the space bar. And I will show you how it will work once we have set up the key bindings here. So everywhere it says ripple delete, go and change it to four. Then the other thing we want to change is if you delete this, we will say split and then space and say clip. So this split clip, you have to change it to one. And the space bar that we're going to use is actually just to run the movie or run the video that you're going to edit. And it already does that. So we don't need to keybind that. So you should just hit save. I will just hit close because I already set it up. And then I'll just go and import some clips here. And the nice thing about DaVinci Resolve is when you have all your clips here, you can go and sort it out by date and time. So they should be lined up in the order that you actually recorded. If nothing drastic happened when you actually recorded your clips. So the easy way to drop them down here is just to go and say control A. And then just go and take the first one here and drag it just down here. So this was a earlier video I created about spot trading in Binance, but it's not important. The important thing is that we have all our clips here. And then what we want to do when we clip it together here is just hit space. You can see we run it. And when I hit before I say something, I want to go and clip. So I say one and it will make a cut here. And then you can just go and drag this, say number four, and you need to do it again, number four. And now that is gone. So now I just muted this track so you cannot hear it because else it would just interfere with this video. But when you hit space, you run the video and then you can stop just before here. You can also go and drag it a little bit with your mouse, say one, go and drag it again over to where you start to say something again, take both this, these clips, say number four, and cut it out and then it will merge together. I personally do think this is the best workflow that I have because I can just run the movie or the clips that we're going to edit. And then when I need to stop, you can just go and hit space and maybe drag a little bit here and say one and then drag it again, say one and mark them and number four and number four. So for my videos, it is actually just because I just say one sentence or two sentence and then I have to stop and then I record again, both because I need to think about what I'm going to say next and also just find the word in English. English is not, is not my first language, but when I did this in Premiere Pro, I used Premiere Pro before then it was not that user-friendly as this DaVinci Resolve. I really like DaVinci Resolve and it's free. So you also save some money by not using Adobe Premiere Pro. So yeah, it was just a little quick tip on how you could edit your videos very fast with DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you liked the video and it helped you. And else, go and have a nice day. Bye.